Wizards of the Coast has announced that in 2024, in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Dungeons & Dragons, they are going to unveil a new version of the core rules of Dungeons & Dragons. This update to the rules will be backwards compatible, and it will not be a new edition of the game. It won't be 6th edition or anything like that. Naturally, social media is abuzz with speculation. What are they going to add? What are they going to get rid of? Are they going to buff the monk? Are they going to nerf the cleric? Are they going to get rid of alignment? Are they going to add Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer to the monster manual? Ah! Well, worry no longer. I think I know exactly what Wizards of the Coast is going to do, and it's pretty awesome. Welcome to PhD and D, everyone. I'm Dr. Bowers, and we're going to talk for a little bit about the future of Dungeons and Dragons, particularly the unveiling of 2024. Now, with the release of Fisben's Treasury of Dragons, Wizards of the Coast has made it pretty clear that they want to put the multiverse first in all of their future releases. When 5th edition was first released, its core rules had an implied setting, the Forgotten Realms. Monster descriptions, adventure ideas, and even various backgrounds and classes made reference to the Forgotten Realms of the Sword Coast. Now, however, Wizards of the Coast is more interested in making sure that their rules are setting neutral. That's the point of putting the multiverse at the center of things. In addition to this, however, Wizards of the Coast has also adjusted their treatment of monsters so that the monster's alignment, their behavior, and even their abilities can vary depending on the setting. The Bullywugs in The Wild Beyond the Witchlight, for instance, are very different from the Bullywugs in Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage. In addition, certain adventures such as Curse of Strahd, Tomb of Annihilation, The Wild Beyond the Witchlight, and Mythic Odysseys of Theros all offer certain variations on the core rules. You can find more variations in the DMG in the section called Dungeon Master's Workshop. Altogether, there's hardcore mode, there's certain restrictions on spells if you're in the Shadowfell, there's certain ways to flavor things if you're in the Feywild, there are systems for stress damage and for glory and all kinds of things. Altogether, here's what I think this means. When 2024 comes and we get a new unveiling of an update to the 5th edition core rules, the update is going to be this. We are going to get modular core rules. Here's what that means. After 2024, groups will be able to choose a setting or a mode for their D&D rules. Each setting or mode will be a variation on the core rule set. This will allow tables to play on, say, hardcore mode, which has more rigorous rules for death saving throws and for injuries, or you could play it on kid-friendly mode, which removes some of the grislier elements from play. We'll probably see a low magic mode or a low magic setting, which curbs how spellcasting works in certain ways. And of course we're going to get variations on the rules to accommodate the various D&D &D settings that there are. I expect we're going to get a Dark Sun mode, which has rules for psionics and rules for eliminating magic. I expect we'll get a Ravenloft mode with all kinds of rules for stress damage and horror. We'll probably get a Feywild mode with rules about how to make things more whimsical. And, most importantly, one of these modes is going to be 5e Classic mode. That's how they're going to get backwards compatibility, is that if you want to ignore the modular rule sets, you can still pick the way that you've been playing it all along. By having modular core rules, Wizards of the Coast will be able to centralize all of the different ways to play D&D, as well as have rules for how you might go about flavoring your campaign. It will also be setting neutral, it will permit there to be monsters that behave differently in the different settings or modes, and it will allow Wizards of the Coast to reach wider audiences which they haven't reached before by advertising these different ways to play. I am very, very confident that this is how it's going to work. When 2024 comes and we get 5.5, if you want to call it that, it's going to be a modular core rule set. Do you agree? If not, what do you think the unveiling is going to be? And separately from what you think Wizards of the Coast is going to do, what do you think of the idea of a modular core rule set? Doesn't that sound cool? Would you play in something like that? I would. Either way, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to do all the internet things. Hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want weekly updates on this channel. And thanks very much for watching.